Hello everyone, welcome to part 41 of Lara 19 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the products bundle. In the last few videos, we able to generate the products table, we able to add the dummy data to our products table. Okay, we can see that we able to add two of the products, we able to add the two records, and we able to show the products here in the every panel. And now we are going to work on the add products functionality okay so uh, see the we are going to create the add product form add edit product form uh, see will be in the common page okay so it's it's route will be like uh, we have done for the categories you can see we are going to make its route like add hyphen edit hyphen product okay and if uh, we are going to we are going to make it like this add hyphen edit hyphen product and uh, if we are going to add here the parameter then it means it is for the edit otherwise if we will not pass the parameter it means that we are working on the add product functionality okay so let's start working on this thing uh, see these are the columns uh, so we are going to add the fields here like uh, uh, select category select brand uh, add product name enter product code product color, product price, product discount, product weight, product image, product video, description, title, uh, see meta title, meta description, meta keywords and is uh, the product is featured or not. See it is something identical like we have done in basic and advanced e-commerce series. See this is the kind of form that we are going to make. Like first thing is we are going to make select category in which we are going to show all the sections as well as categories. Like uh, section is having the category and category is having the subcategories so such kind of uh, uh, layout such kind of structure category structure we are going to show here in select category and after that product name select brand and then product code product color product weight product price uh, product main image product discount gst video okay so everything will be like uh, this one okay a feature item meta title meta description meta keywords see these uh, uh, these filters values uh, like filters columns select fabric fit sleep this one we are going to make dynamic so we are not going to give it here we will make some other process dynamic process for the filters okay so rest of the columns will remain the same that we are going to add and other than this we are going to save the admin vendor details here okay we are going to save here vendor id admin id and admin type so that is the difference uh, like we are working on the multi vendor e-commerce website so these details are required okay so uh, let's start working on this one uh, we are going to make the form first of all okay i am going to uh, create its route if you click on add product it this uh, page will open add edit product page okay first of all i'm going to make its route so i will open the web.php file and here i'm going to create its route okay uh, so route will be like uh, we are going to use the match so that uh, we can uh, make the get post route both get post okay so this one we are going to make and uh, after that uh, we will create its URL like add edit product okay so here if we will uh, return this ID with question mark C because uh, it can come or it uh, it may come or it may not come okay so so that's why we have uh, the question mark here as this field as this ID is optional so if we will pass this one so it means we are working on the edit if we are not passing it means we are working on the add okay so after this uh, we are going to uh, make this one press controller like add edit product okay so so this function we are going to add under press controller here we are going to add public function add edit product. so 
here uh, we are going to uh, have here request request and then dollar id null okay so see here see id can come or uh, may not come so that's why id we are going to assign the null value to the id so if the id is empty if the id is coming as null so uh, we it means that we are going to work on the add product functionality so we are going to add the title as add product okay so uh, see if uh, i'm going to bring it down here okay so else else we are going to make it uh, one second okay so this one we can remove so uh, in else it is edit product okay so now uh, we are going to return rest of the code we will write after getting the page return view we are going to create new page here new blade file here under admin under products add underscore audit underscore product okay so this uh, file we are going to create uh, and we are going to pass this title we are going to return this title title uh, okay so there so this uh, page we are going to create now under products ecom9 is our folder product folder resources views uh, then uh, under uh, so yeah front uh, sorry not here uh, it's under admin okay admin then products okay here we are going to create so uh, in mac we need to create the page like this touch with the touch command touch add underscore edit underscore product dot blade dot php if you are in windows you know how to create the file you can go inside the folder and right click in windows to create the notepad file and then go, you can rename the file to add edit product dot blade file okay so this file we are going to open here add edit product so what we can do we can copy from some other design so that we can get the design as well complete design okay here we can copy and then we can make changes here okay so uh, quick changes we can make after that we can uh, manually uh, replace what we want to replace okay so uh, like uh, everywhere where we are using the category we can replace them to the product okay everywhere in the file and unwanted code we can remove we can do like this okay and uh, everywhere we are going to do this and then we are going to remove the unwanted code like uh, this one is fine we are working on the products and title will call, come as add product or edit product after that the form will come here and in form we are going to uh, see this one is fine admin add edit product form okay so it's fine uh, so before product name we are going to have the select uh, uh, select category option okay and and for that uh, we are require uh, to here we can shift this to at the top right after the form like this and this code we can remove not required and here we can make it select category okay and here uh, we can have category id so right now uh, see uh, we can remove this okay later on we will add okay so now see uh, for getting the details uh, from the product array uh, so so we need to add here the code uh, so that we can get 
uh, the product details if uh, uh, if we are going to edit the product okay otherwise uh, we are going to add the product okay uh, so here uh, because if we are going to check here check once here that pair is now coming so see it's not coming it is having issue here if you are going to function by one we are going to see what issue exactly in web php file match uh, get post here for we to do like this that seems to be fine uh, still it is having some issue and match get post then add edit product uh, okay so see silly mistakes i have done some silly mistakes here don't do this at your end okay so now fine so this is the add product form okay you can see the select okay here we are going to mention so product name product image product response so uh, we are going to match our columns here okay uh, see here to this previous form uh, so i'm going to match here select category after that the product name okay after that uh, select brand will also come so after select category we can show the select brand uh, but see uh, for for getting the categories uh, we are going to uh, add the relation uh, like uh, we are going to show all the categories here uh, so we are going to define the relation uh, first section will come then categories will come okay so we are going to show in the same way uh, like we are showing in the design i'm going to show you uh, here, uh, in the design i'm going to show you okay so here see so we are going to show like uh, uh, like this one like f first it will show the clothing uh, like this clothing section in under clothing it will show men women and kids and uh, under men women and kids it is showing to going to show the subcategories so like in the same way electronics then uh, then the categories then the subcategories like this so we are going to show this under select category okay so that the uh, admin can uh, select the category of the product so for that we are going to define the relation here uh, and that relation is has many relation uh, one section has many categories okay so this relation we are going to add in section model so let's open the section model and sorry section dot php so we can add here okay so now we can add here uh, public function categories okay so here we are going to use like return dollar this has been We are going to add like app category, then uh, section ID will be there. Uh, so, here uh, see we are going to have the parent ID here. Parent ID will be root here. Okay, we are going to open the categories here. So, parent ID will be zero here. Okay. So parent ID every time will be zero. Okay. Uh, so here we are going to mention like zero. Okay. And status will be one. Okay. So now we are going to use these categories here in our add edit product function. Okay. So here uh, we will. Uh, going to show their categories uh, and subcategories with section 
so we are going to see get sections with categories and subcategories and it it will be used for both uh, for both uh, uh, add and edit product okay so here we are going to add dollar categories okay then section so we are going to use this relation with categories so that we can get uh, many categories of the section okay so this one get here then we can use the two array so that we can display the categories in arrays so we can check it like this so now we are going to check here refresh and we need to add here the section sorry here I am going to mention the section ok so let's see now yeah we are going to mention here uh, see uh, has many app models category ok so mention it like this now refresh now see we get all the sections along with the categories you can see we have got here the categories uh, as well as the section C uh, section clothing is the section okay and under clothing there are men and women as categories and uh, we can see the electronics as well now we will also call the subcategories under uh, under men and women there are subcategories so what we can do here we can easily display the subcategories because uh, we have already having the relation between the categories and subcategories just open the category model and here we have the relation subcategories so we are going to attach this relation here uh, subcategories okay and I think it will work like this if I will attach the subcategories with with okay with this subcategories like this okay now it must display the subcategories as well refresh it and now we are going to see first clothing and electronics and appliances these are the section and now we are going to see now this one uh, is having the men men is the category and men is further having two subcategories see here t-shirts as well as the shirts so we able to have the section categories and subcategories okay so everything uh, we have now in our array okay so now we can easily display uh, there in our uh, add edit product blade file here we can display uh, okay so we can return uh, this uh, we can return these categories here along with the title now we can return the category so that we can display uh, its hierarchy there like first section uh, come then categories come then subcategories come like I am showing uh, this one we have done earlier as well uh, this is the kind of layout we want to show in add product form okay so now we are going to display this one uh, we are going to display uh, like this okay so we are going to display this hierarchy there in add edit category okay so uh, we are going to disable uh, or one thing we can do like we always used to do uh, we will display now in two pages so that uh, we will also get this one so that we can see that what we are doing uh, so th so that we can pick the data okay so now uh, we are going to have this form okay so now we are going to show uh, these this array we can pick first section we are going to show then category then subcategories so here the for each loop will come and we are going to show here for each loop uh, for each uh, we are having the uh, see here what we are having we are having here categories okay categories array dollar categories okay categories as first thing we are will have the section and i will do like and for each and under this one see we are going to use the opt group o of opt group is something like the heading okay opt group that is not selectable okay uh, so under opt group i will just give the label here 
a label I am going to give here like dollar section and name okay section like this so uh, this one I am going to check once that whether it is displaying or not see we able to display clothing electronics and appliances all these sections okay so it's coming fine uh, we will check once that if we able to display the color as well color I want to display uh, like black itself so let's see uh, no it's not working so leave it for the time being uh, okay ask your a designer friend to resolve this CSS issue. I am not so good in CSS. Okay, mm, color is going like this more. Okay, so after OPT group, uh, now uh, we will have another for each loop to display the categories. Okay, categories that will come under this uh, under these sections. Okay, so uh, we are going to uh, have here like dollar section then. We are going to pick we're going to check uh, these categories okay and we are going to pick these categories as uh, we are going to have as dollar category okay so we are going to close and for each here like this okay so now we are going to display here the categories option value and value in value we are going to give here dollar category name okay so we can check here as well okay category name is here that we can pick okay so now let's see correct the spelling category then category name like this fine so now we are going to check once again I'm going to refresh here see now uh, it is not visible we are going to see because here we need to have here as well both in value as well as in name okay uh, as well as it's in option okay so clothing under clothing man woman but it is not uh, clear uh, so we need to add here nbsp uh, and sp so that uh, we will give uh, we will tell here some gap like this now refresh now see now it seems to be fine so first one is clothing under clothing men women and under electronics mobiles come okay so now it seems to be fine okay so under men again uh, we have the uh, subcategories in the same way like uh, we have done here as well okay so we are working in the same style okay here as well we are having the section then men uh, and here as well see uh, we have done in the same way there as well okay so uh, after men we are going to display under men so another for each loop we are going to have here to display these subcategories okay so now see here uh, now it's the this one this subcategories we are going to use under here under the option so one more uh, loop we are going to add I'm going to add this one only copy paste this one and we'll paste here okay and we'll end for each loop one more for each loop and for each loop and here uh, I'm going to mention these subcategories now and here also subcategory will come and uh, we are going to mention this subcategory here in both the cases subcategory here and here as well now we are going to check uh, so we are going to check this one subcategories uh, here I am going to copy and then we will paste here Mm, subcategories and here it must come the category here so that's why issue is coming okay now we're going to refresh here okay now see now everything is displaying and uh, just uh, this one uh, we need to require here and now refresh and now you can see 
okay uh, now it's little bit clear okay we can give here like this okay so now it is clear a uh, man under man the t-shirts will come okay you can give more like this one okay so it is identical to this one uh, okay so in the same way we are doing here and uh, there is some style issue is uh, here okay actually okay and that i hope that you can uh, resolve it uh, yourself uh, okay okay so it will be like this so now see clothing electronics and appliances are the sections under that we can either select the category or the subcategories here okay so that is coming in the select category so after that uh, see product name is here uh, so after product name we will show uh, here uh, sorry before that we are going to show the uh, select brand field as well okay so brand field is uh, the simple one we are going to show there is nothing much to do uh, like here select brand okay we are going to select here the brand id okay okay so and here uh, we are going to show here brands as dollar brand brand we are going to fetch okay so after that uh, these loops uh, will come okay that we are going to do here okay uh, so see brands area we are going to create here we are going to get all the brands uh, from the brand table okay that is quite simple uh, we will get all the brands here get all brands and uh, that we will get like this dollar brands equal to uh, brand from brand model we are going to fetch uh, where status is one okay uh, we are going to use here get and again we are going to use here the two array so that will save over time so see this brand we are going to return and see this brand we are going to display here in form okay so here uh, we are going to display option uh, value brand name brand and we are going to have the brand id here in value and there we are going to display the brand name Okay, so now we are going to refresh and going to check here. Brand not found. Uh, we are going to see here. Brand. Okay, so now uh, we are going to see uh, se uh, select category and then select brand. Okay, we can select any of the brand from here. So after the brand product name is here and after product name uh, we are going to show all the uh, columns like uh, product code product color okay uh, that we have added here okay so one by one we are going to add all after product name uh, we are going to have the product code so here we are going to mention here product code Okay, so here, so after product code, uh, we are going to have a uh, product color. Okay, so every product have some color. So we are going to display here product color. then we are going to display the product price and product discount okay let's 
the purpose bonk this one uh, and here I'm going to make Price okay, product price. So, product price is here. Enter product price and then product discount. And product discount will be in percentage. So, we are going to mark here percentage. So, here product discount. So, after product discount, uh, then after that, uh, we are going to display the product weight as well. Okay, so for product weight, I'm going to display one more here. Okay, so product weight, and after product weight, uh, then we are going to have the product image. Okay, so this one, uh, in the same way, uh, we are going to have the product image here. Okay, uh, uh, front image is product images folder. We are going to create this folder, uh, product images folder uh, here under front images, uh, so that we are going to create uh, under public images. We are going to open the public folder public in front images and in this we are going to create one folder product underscore images okay so this is the folder uh, for saving the uh, saving the product images okay so we are going to divide that into three parts small medium and large that uh, I will tell you later on okay so right now see product images is the folder uh, where uh, uh, from where we are going to uh, from uh, in which we are going to save the uh, product images okay so after product images uh, then uh, we are going to have the product description uh, but uh, also we are going to have the product video as well okay after product image we are going to have the product video as well okay so one more I'm going to here mention here product video okay so here name will be like product video and uh, here also see uh, it's the uh, product image and uh, here also we are going to have the product video uh, so here uh, we are going to create the folder like front videos like this okay so this is the folder that we are going to create or videos under that we will create one folder product underscore uh, videos okay so uh, here also we are going to mention delete video like this and here we are going to mention product video okay okay so now it's fine uh, so after that uh, product description okay uh, that uh, we are going to use the test area for product description okay so uh, after product description uh, we will also have the meta title meta keyword and product description this one we can remove then meta title meta description and meta keywords and after meta keywords there is one more column we are going to have uh, that is the featured items okay just copy this one and what to have here featured items okay so this one uh, going to remove this input input type checkbox is featured ID is featured value yes 
okay and here uh, see uh, we are going to have featured items so here also uh, we are going to use this feature okay uh, see feature if this product is featured item or no so if it is featured item we are going to select otherwise we are go not going to check okay so now uh, see here also we can mention like uh, uh, at the rate of if uh, uh, here like uh, not empty if it is coming uh, dollar product featured is featured is underscore featured okay so here and uh, we are going to use dollar product is featured Okay, if this feature is coming as yes, then we are going to check, otherwise we will not check. So now we can refresh here, complete form is ready. Uh, some error is here, uh, we are going to see what error exactly. Uh, some syntax error maybe here, okay, we need to check, we need to resolve. Maybe in this div, uh, we I am going to remove this one and then we will check here. Yeah, then it is fine, so here only if not empty this uh, want to close and and is which are this one now it seems to be fine let's see yeah now it's fine okay so now see the complete form is ready you can able to see okay uh, like select category uh, select brand uh, product name product code product color product price product discount product weight uh, product image, product video, product description, meta title, meta description, meta keyword, and featured items. Okay, so the complete form is ready now. So in next video, we are going to submit this form. Okay, we are going going to submit and we are going to show uh, it here in products module. And after that, we are going to work on its edit functionality as well. So stay tuned for the next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time.